uh, hey YouTube, uh, Wendell Lee Well Services, uh, coming back to, with you for another video. Thanks for checking in with us uh, again. Uh, going to bring up a uh, topic uh, that uh, gets brought up a lot, um, and that's the uh, selection of uh, wire size for your uh, pump motor and uh, how it works. And, um, you know, probably the biggest uh, point I'm going to bring up today is, um, you know, the, the, the use of uh, different size conductors. Um, so, uh, you know, as, as you all can figure, um, you know, pumps are, pump motors are very, uh, you know, specific. They have, uh, our requirements just like anything else regarding wire size. You can only go a, a certain distance on the wire size, uh, you know, that's going to, that's going to depend upon the, um, you know, motor, motor size, uh, single phase, three phase, uh, you know, what, what kind of. Uh, voltage uh, you have going in there um, and then obviously you know they make all kinds of different wires um, so you know there is a, a very helpful uh, manual out there um, you know about anybody's going to refer to you uh, to this uh, it's the uh, Franklin Electric AIM manual um, you know they have uh, all kinds of information in this book uh, you know not only just uh, talking to you about uh, wire size uh, but you know uh, resistance ratings, generator sizing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this this link is in our uh, a, a link for this video as well. Um, so one of the things I will show you here. Sorry, our book's been used so much the cover's about come off of it. Um, let me just flip the one particular example here for the a smaller stuff uh, for single phase. Um, you don't have to see that, but as you can see, you know they have different charts here um, trying to do this at once here but this chart on the top is going to tell you the wire size and then this uh, these lines going down is going to be the motor horsepower size and then obviously going down um, you know you have individual ratings for each wire size uh, so not going to get into that a whole lot uh, you know you can you can go check that out for yourself to kind of to kind of go over uh, you know what selection works best for you but what I am going to go over with you today is uh, you know just kind of the use of uh, more than different you know more than one uh, different cable um, so you know these ratings that Franklin gives you uh, they are based on the uh, NEC which is the National uh, Electric Code requirements for voltage drops through motors um, you know you may be asking okay well I have uh, so many footage of number 10 or number 12 how far can I go with that so uh, Franklin does address this come over here to my little handy dandy board over here so I got a little uh, example drawn up for you here um, just kind of doing a basic example here I just have a pump um, just saying the pump set 600 feet and then coming out of the well to the meter it's a, uh, a 200 feet so you have a total run of 800 feet, but I'm just calling this, uh, you know, example B, saying you want to run a different wire size uh, from the top of the wellhead to the power meter, and then one wire size, which is uh, cable A, down in the well. Um, so this voltage drop formula, as you can see, I'm just going to say cable A rating for the... Um, I, for the motor horsepower, I'm just going to say I selected cable A. It can it's rated for this particular motor to go to a thousand feet. Okay, so I've already ran 600 feet down in the well. So 600 divided by a thousand, that's get telling me that I've used 60% of my uh, allowable voltage drop for this uh, setup. That's also telling me that I only have 40% remaining. So whatever cable I choose here from the from the top of the well head to the power meter, not to the pressure switch, but all the way to where the breaker is, where the power comes in. Um, this 200 feet has to be rated for 40%. I, I have to have used 40% up of whatever size cable B is. Okay, so here, sorry for my uh, wonderful English teacher writing here, cable B rating must be less than 0.4. So I'm dividing 200 feet divided by 0.4, that's giving me 500. So I'm going to go back to my Franklin A manual, and I'm going to select a cable that has a minimum rating of 500 feet. Um, you know, and I'm going to kind of leave this up here. Uh, you know, this is, 
This is also in the Franklin Manual as well, um, but just kind of wanted to break it down for you a little bit easier. Um, we don't run into this a lot, um, but we do have certain cases, um, you know, especially when you start talking uh, single phase and kind of getting into bigger motor horsepowers, uh, you know, the wire size can jump up there pretty fast. Uh, so, you know, there are uh, a lot of situations where if, if a, we can, you know, run a, run a bigger wire uh, one place, you know, we can save money somewhere else where we have to run a, uh, a smaller wire. So it just kind of depends on what your situation is. Uh, just wanted to bring that out there. Again, all of that is in the Franklin Manual. Um, but uh, there, there is a method to our uh, madness. Uh, we're not just uh, pulling numbers out of the sky. So just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, check, check us out on our website for uh, more information as well as uh, more items that we're going to be putting up on our store. And we'll uh, keep on coming back at you with more YouTube videos. Thanks for watching.